All right. So information retrieval has to do with the idea of entering a query and then getting back results, uh, results that match that query. So documents, for example, web pages in this case, that match the query, right? So the idea has to do with, again, putting some words in here that illustrate a concept or, or a search query that you have and retrieving documents that match with that query, okay? Another uh, thing for which information retrieval is also used is to gauge similarity of different documents. So how similar is this document to this one, right? That's what we want to do. Now, one method of doing this is by, say, string match. But sometimes not the exact same terms that you're looking for are present in the query. Okay, so for example, students of NLP, an article of NLP education can also help without mentioning the word students. So let's see how this is formed. First, we're going to look at a few concepts um, in information retrieval. The first one is the bag of words. Bag of words is when we represent documents without any syntactic information, just the words. So for example, the documents, I see what I eat, will then in a bag of words where you put, imagine a bag where you put all these words and then, you know, scramble them, will be the same bag of words as in the document, I eat what I see. Now, I see what I eat and I eat what I see are different, they have different meanings. But in a bag of words, they look exactly the same because they have the exact same words. That's what we're going to call a bag of words. Now, uh, a document refers to the unit of text that we will use in our system. So, for example, if you're analyzing, analyzing um, Twitter, each tweet might be a document. If you're analyzing web pages, well, each web page might be a document. If you're looking for authorship of books, then each book might be a document. So depending on the task, you will have a document. Throughout these slides, our documents are going to be very small, so I can illustrate something. So they're going to be like one sentence things, right? But a document could be any unit of text that you're interested in analyzing. And then a collection is a bunch of those documents. A query is something that the user enters. We're going to call that a document. It's a very small one for words or whatever, right? But it's the document that the user enters to retrieve information. And a term, basically, it's going to be a word or a smiley face or any any token, any sort of word that makes sense in your search. Whoops. Now, how do we represent documents? Well, in order to represent a, a document, we're going to use a paradigm called the vector space model, right, right there. Now, the idea here is the following. We're thinking of a document as a bag of words, and each document, I'm going to call it, you know, D sub J, as in J is document one, two, three, four. They're all going to be bags of words. I'm going to look at them as bag of words. So I'm just going to look at the words they have, not the order in which these words occur in the document. And then I'm going to define F of WI, right, as the frequency of the word I, whatever word that is, in the document, right? And I can even put like a little J here. FJWI is the frequency of the word, whatever word WI is, in the document J, right? And then, so F is basically the frequency. And then, therefore, a document uh, a document will be represented by the frequency of the first word, the second word, and so on and so forth for all the words. So let's look at an example. Uh, let's look at an example here. So for example, the cow jumped over the moon. That's my document. Well, I will look at the bag of words here, and the words that it has is the cow jumped over, and then the goes here, and then moon. As you can see, there's two the word the happens twice, cow jumped over moon, hap each one of them happens once. So this is how I represent one document. Now the question comes in is, how do you represent more than one document? Well, let's say we have three documents here. The cow jumped over the moon, O'Leary's cow kicked the lamp, and the kicked lamp started a fire. So the first thing that we want to do here is to find out which are the unique word. So if we're going to put a bag of words with the words for document one, two, and three together in one bag, we'll have the word the cow jumped over 
moon, O'Leary's. I'm just going to use that as big, one big word. Cow, oh, we had cow before, so cow doesn't go there. Kicked, the is already there. Lamp, okay, lamp started a fire. Those are the unique words. So then I build my my little um, I build my little my little matrix like so. So I use the words the the right so the the cow jumped over moon O'Leary's cake lamp started a fire and I need my last word is a which I totally missed. And what I do is I say okay document one the word the how many times does the word the appear in document one. Twice. Once here, once here. How many times does the word cow appear? Just once. How many times jumped? Once. Over. Once. Moon. Once. O'Leary's. O'Leary's is not present in document one. So zero times. Kicked zero times. Lamb zero times. Started zero times. Fire appears zero times in document one. And A appears zero times in document one. Document two, O'Leary's, right? So the word the appears in document two? Yes, here. Let me change colors for this one. So here, right? The word cow appears in document two? Yes, right there, once, or here. The word jumped appears in document, um, in document two? No, so zero times. The word over does not appear. The word moon does not appear. The word O'Leary's appears once in document in document two right here right and so does the word kicked and so does the word lamp the word a does not appear so it's also going to be a zero and then document three the appears once cow does not show up jump does not show up over moon o'leary's those words aren't there and then kicked is there lamp is there started there a fi fire is there and a is there and that this kind of representation is what we call the vector space model and for the rest of the for the few lectures that we have in um, information retrieval we're going to assume a matrix like this which is a document by term or word matrix okay document by term matrix so keep tune keep in tune and this is the basic information for the remaining